Guys, if you're a South African and you don't know your father, you don't use your father's surname, you don't know your father's ancestors' graves, you don't know your father's homelands, you don't know where your father comes from, you don't have a right to be hating foreigners. You don't have a right. You don't even know your father. What if your father is a foreigner? What if your father comes from Zimbabwe, comes from Nigeria? So who are you? As a South African who doesn't even know his father or her father. Then you want to be the first one to want to shout xenophobic words and xenophobic hatred things towards our African brothers and sisters. Who are you? You don't know your father. What if your father comes from Mozambique? What are you going to do? You're going to say sorry, I'm no more xenophobic. Hey, pan-Africanism, pan-Africanism. Is that what you're going to do? What if your father comes from Rhodesia? What if your father comes from Angola? So, you don't know your father, man. You can't be hating foreigners while you don't know your father. You are using your mother's surname. You don't know even your, your, your father's father. You don't know your father's mother. But you want to be the first one to scream, Foreigners must go! Who are you? Where do you come from? Who's your grandmother? Who's your grandfather? Where is your homeland? Where is your homeland? Tell us about that. What culture does your father come from? Hey? Hi, man. No. Foreigners must go. You don't even know those things about yourself. Where does your tribe come from? Yeah, you are Zulu, you are closer. Like, yeah, now you are closer. But 50 years time, where were your people? Where was your tribe? What were they calling themselves? Who are your forefathers? Like, are your forefathers also closer? Or back then, there's a link of your forefathers having wives of Tonga, having wives of Zulu women, having wives of Pedi women. Are you sure your generation is just Zulu only going back? Are you sure your bloodline is just Pedi only going back into history? Are you sure you are just a closer, pure closer? Going back even to 70 years back, you are just pure closer. There is no link of you mixturing with Pedi, mixturing with Ndebele. Are you sure? Do you even know? Or you just don't know? All you know you are closer in 2024. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Most of you guys who are shouting these things, you don't even know yourselves. Let's be honest. You don't even know yourselves. You don't even know the history of your families. You don't even know the history of your ancestors. You don't even know the history of your tribe. You don't even know the history of your traditions. How the traditions of your family bloodline came about. You don't even know the cultures and customs of your family and your and your whole tribe. You don't even know the history of South Africa. Then you want to be the first one. Foreigners must go. Hey, hey. You don't even know the Berlin Conference. You don't even know the Enfek and the war. You don't even know about Kazankulu. You don't even know about Soshangani. You don't even know all these people. You don't even know like serious people. And then foreigners must go. Foreigners must go. Hi, man. Hi, man. There's a reason why. Yazin, it's fine. But there's a reason why when leaders. In South Africa, when they speak about great heroes, they don't just mention South African heroes. And I hope you have noticed, they don't just mention about Oliver Tambo, they don't just mention about Nelson Mandela. They mention all of the heroes of Africa. They mention all of them. Take a listen one of the days when these leaders are giving you a history political lesson or a political lecture. Listen to the heroes they mention. In those lectures those heroes are not just south african heroes they are african heroes some of them are heroes who come from angola some of them are heroes who come from Burkina faso some of them are heroes who come from nigeria some of them are heroes who come from zimbabwe even today president mugabe is still celebrated for giving the people of zimbabwe land so you don't know your father shut up <laughs>